Hello guys, this is Alec here and welcome to my second Team of the Season player review. This time it's going to be on Marwa Fellaini, 86 rated player. As you can see by his stats, I'm not going to read them out to you because you can probably read them yourself. But um, yeah, many of you will be thinking why are you playing him centre forward? He's much more of a, mid a central midfield type of player and I'd agree with you there. Um, he has got central midfield stats and I did play him there a few games, I swapped him in game. But I decided for this player review, because I want to get some nice goals with him and stuff, I'd, I'd play him centre forward and he actually did alright. You know, he plays centre forward in real life and as you'll see when the in-game stats come up now, he has got a high defensive work rate and a medium attacking work rate, which did cause to be a pain sometimes but it, it was also good sometimes as well. Um, you can probably read them in-game stats for yourselves there, but I just want to talk a little bit about Marwan Fellaini. Now, I did enjoy playing him centre-forward. His ball control and his dribbling were much more improved from his in two informs and his normal card. Also, his pace just seemed to be much better than 79. Same with Michu, really. I think Michu had 78 pace. But they both improved pace uh, by a lot. As you can see here, the first goal, he just beats a defender easily there. Nice roulette and a nice finesse into the bottom left corner with his weaker foot now the only thing i was let down a bit by marron fellini was his um not his weak foot is long shots now it says i think he had high 90s long shots i think he had around 98 long shots and high 90s power shot power i didn't really see that you know i went for lots and lots of lots and lots of long shots with him and he didn't really score a great deal. I mean, you saw that one there. That one didn't even go into the corner. It just, you know, just kind of got parried in by the goalkeeper. And a goal is a goal, I know that. But I, I really expected more of his shots. But on to the main good things about him now, really, is his position. And now, he didn't, he was kind of back a lot. He did play more of a CDM, even though he was playing centre forward. But. When he did get into them positions in the box, he really, really made a difference. And he just got into them nice positions where you could just cross the ball into him and he'd be there waiting for the ball. He made some nice runs, not as well as Michu, but that's kind of what you get, you know, when when you get a centre forward and a centre mid, the different types of players. I definitely would recommend getting Fellaini, but I definitely recommend playing him as a centre midfielder. He's got good shot. But I think his defensive stats mean that you should really play him more of a centre midfield role. And when I did play him centre midfield, he came up against, I think it was Ronaldinho in form. And uh, the other one was Tarapt. And he did really well, you know. He's so physical. That's another thing, by the way, guys. His strength is absolutely superb. He didn't get muscled off the ball once, if I remember. And, of course, you know, his corner threat is always going to pose... Um, very difficult to deal with. He's six foot four. He's got a massive afro on top of his head, and I think he's got high jumping stats as well. I believe he scored around ten goals in six or seven games for me, which is pretty good from centre forward. And um, yeah, it's coming up to the end of the episode now, guys. Please leave a like if you did enjoy. I know the goals aren't the best, and this commentary may not be the best either. I'm just trying to get back in the swing of things with commentaries and stuff. But I definitely, for me, guys, he's a definite buy for centre midfield if you have the coins but I wouldn't go all out on him so yeah I hope you enjoyed guys as always please leave a like if you did my twitter is in the link in the description below and um, yeah that's about it really i got nothing else to say apart from uh, this player I'd probably give him an 8 out of 10 uh, because I, I think his dribbling kind of lacked no I, I wouldn't even say that but anyway guys hope you enjoyed please leave a like like I said please subscribe if you haven't and peace out